Hi everyone! Well, it is another Diabetes 101 day, and today we are going to talk about insulin pumps, insulin pens, and syringes. Okay, so first I thought we would talk, just, you know, like open up the conversation about insulin pumps, pens, or syringes, because a lot of people ask me, like, why do you go on the pu why did you go on the pump? Um, do you like it? What's your advice on it? Things like that. I was probably using syringes for about four years before I actually got my first pump, which I use the Mini Med Medtronic pumps, and I've used them ever since I was in third grade. So I was probably like eight or nine around that time when I got my first one, and I remember I thought it was so cool. I absolutely loved it. There's just certain things you need to know before you go on a pump or before you decide to make any changes like that to your diabetes life. First, you should know that an insulin pump is going to be attached to you 24-7 except for when you're in water, usually. There are some pumps that have tubing. Um, they can be long or they can be short, but you will have tubing around you, which bothers some people and sometimes it bothers kids. So that's totally a decision that you might have to think about. There is another pump company that makes the Omnipod, which is a pod that just sits on your body, whether it's your arm or your butt or your back or something, and it's like about this big. It's a little bit, it's a little heavy though, which was heavier than my liking, so that's why I'm not on that, but there's no tubing involved. It's just you control it with a little like electronic device, sort of like a cell phone. Another thing you need to know is that when you first go on the pump, it's not going to be perfect, and it might take you weeks or even months to get your regimen plan and everything all back in order the way that you want it to be. They can be tricky and they usually take some time to figure out and to really figure out your body and how it's working with the pump after not being on a pump. So that's the one, another thing about the pump that a lot of people need to understand. Now if you're on insulin pens and you like that, that's awesome. That's, that's great. It looks just like a long pen with a dial on it. Now the thing about insulin pens is that the pump the pump would be doing what you're doing for yourself automatically by itself. I don't know if that makes sense. But, for example, bolus insulin is, is insulin that you take when you eat food or when you need to correct a blood sugar that may be too high. Basal insulin is insulin that is going on 24 hours a day in your pump or in your body. And, for example, Someone on an insulin pen might need to take however many units of a longer acting insulin at night time so that they can, you know, keep their blood sugars in a good range overnight. Otherwise, if they didn't do that, their blood sugar would go up and down. So someone with a pen takes their long acting insulin in, as in their basal insulin like my pump does for me, but then when their bolus insulin, they take an extra shot or an extra whatever of the short acting insulin for when they eat or when they need a correction. I'm on the Medtronic Mini Med pump and it holds 180 units which usually lasts me about three days and then I have to change the site anyways. It comes in five colors. It comes in pink, gray, clear, purple, and blue. I've always loved this pump. I've been using this company since third grade. The company's really good about helping you if you ever have a problem setting something up or something's not working or you don't understand it and the manual isn't really helping you you can just call them. I'm pretty sure they have like a 24 hour number in case there's ever a problem or in case you do have a question. There, There's that. And I feel as though using the pump, it has made my life a lot more seamless. Like without the syringes and without the pens, it's made it a lot easier to manage. That's all that really matters. But the pump has made it so much easier to control and I've definitely been in better control since. Not everyone likes it. It doesn't fit in everyone's lifestyle. It just sort of worked for me. It worked for me with sports and with school and with everything. So I just, I really love it. And I recommend, I recommend that if you are even thinking about it a little bit, you at least try it. They have trials where you can try it for like 30 days, I think, or something like that. And it's definitely worth the try because you won't know unless you try it. Um, and of course, talk to your doctor, talk to your endo, ask them what they think, if they think that it's a good idea for you or if they think it's not a good idea for you. That They'll help you decide, and, and if you still want to try it, then, you know, let them know. Just talk and really 
figure things out that way. And well, yeah, I guess that's my insulin pump review. Yeah, so that's that. If you have any questions, email me, of course. Send me your suggestions if you have more. And thanks for watching.